Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. It's a new knife day. A little underwhelming. That's right, it's a new knife day, and today we're taking a look at a Topps product. This is one that I've uh, had on my radar for quite a while and never pulled the trigger on. Actually, when I was looking into buying the Topps Moccasin, or not Topps Moccasin Ranger, the Topps uh, Longhorn Bowie, it was between this one and that one. I ended up going with the other one. And I'm kind of glad I did at this point. Uh, your typical ballistic nylon BS that they send you with these knives. A Bowie knife should never be in nylon, in my opinion. You got your whistle, you got your uh, paracord, and it is, you know, for all you jumpers, <laughs> it's double strap. Honestly, who's jumping out of a freaking plane with this? If they just ditched this one strap, it'd be a little bit better, but whatever. It took them 30 seconds to sew in a second strap. So that just typical floppy lined garbage. I do have a Kydex sheath on the way for this guy, but there is a problem with it. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about it yet, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So right now what we got is a... We're looking at about an 8 inch blade here with about 7.5 inches of cutting. And overall, bigger than my ruler. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get a tape measure. We're looking at about, I don't know, 12 and a half inches overall. I do not know what the specs say online. It is a quarter inch thick slab of 1095 carbon steel. It has this traction coating on here. I do not know what this is. Is it a powder coat? It kind of seems like powder coat, but I'm not sure. Um, the thing I really liked about this design is I like this big, big long sweep on this drop point right here. It's, it's pretty cool. It's non-sharpened. Like I said, it's quarter inch thick, so you got a big, big thick slab of steel all the way out to the tip which is nice um the handle not a lot of people like it i don't know i literally just opened it up here's the packaging for it it, it came in uh, amazon today but uh right off the bat you know any knife guy if you get something new and you spend any kind of money on it which these are about 165 bucks plus tax uh you kind of give it a once over um, first thing I did was tested the sharpness. As you can see, it is, you know, sharp. Great. One box checked. Um, it's not my sharp, but it is sharp. Will it pull hair? No, it will not pull hair. No, it's not pulling hair, but it'll cut paper. Uh, second, you're just looking for fit and finish. Fit and finish is decent. The scale sits just a little low right here, but you know, that's just nitpicking. Uh, my biggest problem with this guy is it is bent. That tip goes that way. I don't know if you can see that. It is bent. And then when you look at this way, now it's bent this way. And you can see in that blade, it it bends, it bows. No freaking bueno. I have never had a problem with this in tops. You can see it. You see that bend? You see the shitty grinds? Um, another thing I did was I held a ruler to it. And uh, it's not going to pick up very well. But you can see it cutting off to that right. And then you do it this side. And it's right to the ruler. So that I am unpleased with. But uh, as of right now, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about it. Could I hit up tops? and maybe get it uh, replaced under warranty? Probably. Should I just keep it and beat the living crap out of it? I mean, you can see it. Can you see that? See that bentness right there? That is freaking terrible. That is, that is absolute horrendousness. Uh, other than that, you know, it's centered. This is centered, but how did it get out of freaking, how did it get past QC like that? Does nobody take a peek down the knife before they throw it out? you know, send it out. But, uh, yeah, other than that, fit and finish is good. I, you know, that's, it's not going to affect the knife too much for what it is. 
to have the blade bent, but it just kind of irks me to get a USA made blade that I spent, you know, $165 for, uh, 170 something plus tax, uh, to have a bent damn blade. <laughs> but do I really want to have to freaking hassle with shipping this back and getting a new one? Meh. Tops, if you're watching my video, come on, do better than that. But other than that, it's pretty decent. I didn't realize it had jimping right here, so that's cool. Um, this is not like a bushcraft knife. This is a it's a go out and stab people knife. It's a it's it's a war buoy, you know. It, would you want to carry this though if you were like uh, in the military? Man, I would say no. It, it's chunky, you know. It's a quarter inch thick sl slab of uh, ten ninety five. Um, woods knife? No, I don't know what it is. It's just got a cool factor. Um, some people don't like that the handle necks down so much right here uh, for having it for 20 minutes. Not a problem yet. It's got that Rocky Mountain tread on the uh, canvas micarta scales with red liners, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if this is going to be an issue. Like I said in the past video, I'm not a big fan of protruding steel out the back of a knife. It uh, It bugs me and it seems like Seems like a place for a hot spot to me, but time will tell. So what do you think I should do? Do you think I should send it back? Or do you think I should use the damn thing and just see what happens? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, I wanna cut some stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'll avoid the warranty, who knows? Ugh, I didn't like that, I didn't wanna, didn't wanna stick the first time. Hmm. I would think that blade would be a little more stabby than that. Not super comfortable in that stabbing position. I can imagine that this has become a problem here if you keep doing that. That is, uh, might hurt a little bit, but uh, let's chop something. We've got this uh, pressure treated four x four right here. I'm just gonna hold standard hammer grip. It is easy to hold on to because it swells so much. I don't feel any hot spot, which is good. Let's try here. Yeah, no. 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 Man, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm a little underwhelmed with this thing, minus the fact that it's even bent. Uh, the tops, oh, let's get it and take a look at it. The tops, Longhorn buoy, And this is the reason I was thinking about buying this one in the first place. The overall specs on these things are pretty much the same. They are similar overall length. Uh, I don't care that it has a longer blade, but it also has a shorter handle. I do like the handle on this much better this this thing is a fantastic knife but these guys you know they're both quarter inch thick 1095 similarly specced knives from tops this thing came immaculate there is absolutely nothing wrong with it other than that i don't own like four of them <laughs> the sheath sucked i had to make my own but uh Everything else I've received from Tops has been top notch, and it just kind of irks me that this guy is a little bit off. Uh, the uh, Tops Bob in 154cm, not a flaw on it. Tops Moccasin Ranger, not a flaw. Perfect. And it came with a nice sheath. The Tops El Chete. For being a big fat ass knife the grind on this thing is perfect but for some reason this guy came out funky and i just don't know what to do about it i just it irks me like i said i literally just received this knife a couple minutes ago and uh underwhelmed this is a knife that they've kept in their uh in their uh on their lineup for a long, long time. This this has been in the, the tops lineup for, God, years. 
six, eight, nine years. I think it was one of their original designs. Um, I don't, you know, it just, I'm less than impressed. I don't know what to say, but, uh, I'd be happier, honestly, if the knife was perfect and I just didn't like it. You know, you never really know until you try something out. Um, this is also a very, very short term review of it. But as of right now, that, that bent blade is really pissing me off. So yeah, don't know what to think about it. Let me know in the comments what I should do about it. Should I keep it? Should I return it? Should I just use it and abuse it? I don't know. My uh, my long-term review of this thing might go up. I might, I might like it, uh, minus the bend. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.